Hello, my name is Katherine Wynn. Welcome to Digital Memoirs. My husband and I just went on a beautiful trip to Sedona, Arizona. If you've not been there, I highly recommend it. After we came home, I put everything together onto our digital memoir that I made using Google Sites. I added a Sedona trip page to our 2022-23 digital memoir, and I have our trip website linked there. I have videos that I uploaded to YouTube. I have really great pictures. We went on a lot of really fun hikes. We went out to eat. And I have a story telling everything we did on our trip. Creating a digital memoir is the perfect way to showcase all of your wonderful trip memories. Before I go on a trip, I like to plan everything and I like to put it all together on a Google site. I have a page with our schedule, our flight itinerary, and our hotel information. I found some really cool 3D maps of Sedona and so I put those on a page and I can zoom in and look while we're traveling. On the activities page, I put information about art galleries, guided tours, I have a map with parking spots, and then some hiking trails. On the restaurants page, I found a few out of the way places and it was very helpful to put these maps with the phone numbers and the website links. When I'm traveling, I love to have this site up on my phone so I can be a great trip navigator. Not only that, I make sure and add a page called journal so that I can keep track of everything that we're doing along the way. So here's my journal page. And when I have time, either in the evenings or early in the mornings, I will sit down and I will just write either a list or maybe I'll write a couple paragraphs about everything that we're doing so that I can remember and keep track of it while it's fresh in my mind. So then after my trip, when I'm ready to make my digital memoir, all I have to do is copy the story from my digital journal and then paste it right onto my digital memoir page. One thing you can do on a trip is delete your photos. If I'm waiting in line or for a flight that's been delayed or really anywhere, I can take my phone and delete as many photos as possible, leaving only the best ones. If you have a good Wi-Fi connection, then you can start uploading them to your cloud storage. I use SmugMug, but any cloud storage will do. This is a great thing to get done before you get home from your trip. It is such a great feeling to have all your favorite photos saved to your cloud storage and ready to go on to your digital memoir. Something I like to do on a trip, especially when I don't have a Wi-Fi connection, is edit video. My husband especially likes to take a crazy amount of videos and all I have to do is edit it using iMovie right on my phone. So here I am in iMovie and all I do is I put all of our videos probably from one day or this is from one hike and I just take out all the bad or boring parts and then I just add music. Then when I'm done, I upload it to YouTube and I set it to unlisted so that only people with the link can view. After I have my videos uploaded onto YouTube, they're all ready to go into my digital memoir. My husband especially likes watching these videos over and over again. After a trip, I am ready with all of my content. I have my story that I wrote on my journal. I have my photos uploaded to my cloud storage and I have my videos all set to go on YouTube. All I have to do is put it all together onto my digital memoir using Google Sites. I make a different digital memoir Google site for each year and I make a different page for each season. So here I have our Sedona trip page and I have our videos that have been uploaded to YouTube and I have all of our favorite photos of our trip. And then finally we have the story that I just copy and pasted from my journal. Making digital memoirs has been the most meaningful thing I have ever done in my life and I would love to share it with you. If you'd like to work with me, go to my website at katherinewin.com. Thanks for watching.